What's up? It's your boy Carcino here with breaking news. That's right. Breaking news fresh off the presses. Now, LeBron didn't play the other day and people were, oh, he's just resting. He's taking a day off to rest and not play and do all these things. He's not really hurt. Well, I'm here to give you a report that was given to me. That's right. Your boy gets breaking news reports. LeBron James was hurt. Ladies and gentlemen, he actually tweaked and hurt his groin in a game against Boston. He was up going up for a rebound, I guess, with Tice, and he injured it then. He felt a burn when he came down on his leg and he just fell to the ground. He felt some type of a burn. Then, playing in the game, he came out the game when he felt a burn again during playing against the Pelicans. Running up and down the court, he decided to languish a little bit and play back and kind of let the Pelicans have their position and score, and he played back a lot because the high tempo and the speed of the game was a bit much. So after this, things uh, pivoted to where he wasn't going to be able to go. And they said Fogel, Frank Vogel, I'm talking about Fogel, doggone from Superbad. <laughs> Frank Vogel has made a decision that's going to probably change and affect the rest of the team moving forward. They're thinking of letting Rondo handle most of the uh, ball control, but they are thinking, no, no, no. Brian wants to be the point forward. He got to keep his assists and his stats up. But Fogel, Frank Fogel is very, uh, Frank Vogel is very determined to cut LeBron's minutes. He thinks LeBron should be at 30 minutes a game. That's it, tops. All this 39, 40 minutes for games is unnecessary. And he really wants to keep him down, but LeBron is playing for stats. So Frank Vogel is fighting it. Like, look, I'm the coach, and I'm going to snatch him out of the game. As he was talking to the rest of the assistant coaches, it's like, look at what we were just doing with Golden State. Everyone involved, the ball's moving around. You know, we're, and guys, nobody played 30 minutes. You know, it was, the my, he's like, that's what I would call a perfect night. So, if we can keep guys' minutes low, so when the playoffs come, the minutes are going to explode back up, you know, guys will be rested, you know, their bodies are not all worn out. I don't want to lose a guy at the end of the season over a game that we don't really need. So, I'm agreeing with Fogel. In this sense, if, if the reports I'm getting is true, that is exactly what needs to happen. LeBron James' minutes need to be cut. And anybody who don't agree is probably LeBron James because he needs to be on the full court for 40 minutes to try to get 25 points and get... 11 to 13 assists because he wants to lead the league in assists and all this. He wants to keep his assists up. Dude, your stats mean absolutely nothing. This is an arcade puppy dog league. What counts as an assist now did not account as an assist back in the 80s and 90s. Okay. Now you could dribble the ball, spin around, take a couple of dribbles and shoot the ball and still be called an assist for the other guy. It does not even make sense anymore. I don't even know what an assist is anymore. Now guys are just pulling up, shooting threes, and you're just throwing them the ball. There's no real art to giving people the basketball as you had to know back in the 80s and 90s. The lanes were clogged up. Bodies were moving around. There's not, that doesn't exist in today's basketball. You can't clog the lanes. So if you dunk on somebody, it's going to be one guy who feels like, I don't want to be on ESPN all night. I'm going to get out the way. So I don't want to be in the poster. 
So they move out of the way. So there's nothing really exciting or challenging about it at all. So your stats mean nothing. So the fact that you want to go and break some type of record and I want to be the biggest guy on campus and all that crap, that's on you. That's on you. Nobody else but you. Now, here's the deal. The rest of you guys who are out here campaigning for this Laker team to keep getting bonuses and rests and all of these different things, you guys are not looking at a very major factor here. The major factor is that the Los Angeles Lakers are one of the teams that should be in a better position than where they are now. But they're not. Now, we're going to get to why that is in a minute. The Lakers are not where they need to be based on the fact that they don't use their entire team. JaVale McGee has not been used correctly since he's been there. He'll have a game of success, and he's just trying to find his rhythm and flow on this team. That's it. So JaVale got his two NBA championships based on how he defended and shut down the Los Angeles, I mean, yeah, well, LeBron James, basically, when they played him in the finals. He guarded the rim, protected the rim, and they thought this guy could be a center. They never realized how insane that theory was because he's not a center. He's a power forward who can shoot, can create on the outside, but if you run with him in transition, he's a good cleanup guy. He can catch alley-oops. He could disrupt on defense if you guys are closing in. And he can rebound and he can make things happen. He can make things really uncomfortable for your team if you guys are guarding the three. Now, LeBron is basing his whole thing off Danny Green just catching and shooting. Danny Green is a sometimes player. As he showed you the other night, he sometimes I'll be here, sometimes I won't. <laughs> That's him. That is Danny Green. Now, check this. The Lakers now have to play a back-to-back. -back. So LeBron know that they had to play the Grizzlies tonight, which is a, probably a walk in the park. Figuring that the Grizzlies team has been depleted, you know, just by, even though they were in a playoff position, they have kind of been depleted since the last time they met. So this should be virtually a walk in the park for them. LeBron James is supposed to be in the lineup tonight, as well as the Pelican game. That's why I bet everything on the Pelican game, all my money is on Zion beating LeBron Sunday at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Or, yeah, was it Central? No, Pacific Time, sorry. Now, well, no, it is Central. Sorry, Central Time. So that means 5 o'clock Pacific. Okay, all right, my brain is all right. Now, after that, then they got to play the 76ers, which probably won't have Joel Embiid or Ben Simmons. So that game is probably a wash for the Lakers. But bet your money on the Pelicans, that their Pelicans are going to cover that spread. Right? then the Lakers' losing streak is really finna get grooving. Because after the 76ers game, they got the Bucks, 
the Clippers, the Nets, and the Rockets. Now, you probably say the Nets? They ain't going to lose to no Nets. They don't even got Kyrie out there. The Nets game is the kind of game that can go any kind of way. I'm picking the Nets to probably cover the spread there. Just matchup reasons. But see, now it's going to get rough for the Los Angeles Lakers. Once March hit, they're in trouble. This is where all this stuff gets exposed. So after this Pelicans game, they're going to have the Sixers, the Bucks. Sixers game won't probably be as tough without, like I told you, Joel and them. That's going to be out. But you got the Bucks, the Clippers, the Nets, the Houston Rockets, the Denver Nuggets. You got the uh, Jazz back-to-back. -back. And that takes you to the middle of the month. So I'm excited for it. I'm all ready for it. How the saying go? I'm all in. <laughs> so y'all tell me, y'all agree with Fogel? Should LeBron minutes be cut? Or what? I mean, he wasn't going to play three games in four nights. He going to get ready for this run. Do you believe LeBron really hurt himself in Boston? I mean, everybody get a stinger. I don't think nothing severe I came out of it, but hey, what do I know? I'm just Carcino, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you for your support. Don't forget to hit the Cash App up. My name's Carcino on the Cash App. Subscribe. If you got Spotify, hit up the Carcino for Life podcast. Uh, we, we're growing, man. We're infesting.